you can look at this diagram that here there is sweating here there is no sweating it means this n n n hydrosis there number one number two you look here the upper lid is pathologically drooping here upper lid is here but not drooping too much right so and third thing here pupil is quite big here pupil is small so we say that three classical features of oculo motor sympathetic fiber failure is anhydrosis anhydrosis yes ptosis and then meiosis and in this case palpebral fissure the area between the upper eyelid and lower eyelid it will be smaller and i may look as if it is slightly pushed backward that condition is called n of thelmos so there may be apparent n of thelmos n of thelmos that n of thelmos that apparently due to smaller fissure it appears as if eyeball is slightly sunken in the orbit as compared to the normal eye now these three features due to failure of the sympathetic supply to the eye right these all anhydrosis ptosis and meiosis and if there is nf thalmosis all this as a group this this group of symptoms uh, presentation is called horner syndrome this horner is with h it is not horner syndrome it is not hor no it is horner from horn horner horner syndrome 